Welcome to our Cookie Rookie exclusive. My name is Jen and I have Emily May's Cookies. I'm in Peterborough, Ontario, Canada. Um, today we are going to talk a little bit about some of the essentials uh, that I use for cookie decorating. And I've got them all organized here and ready to show you. Okay, so the first thing is a good spatula that feels comfortable in your hand. This is great for all kinds of things of cookie decorating. I've got two different types of piping bags. This one is most common for me. It's called a tipless piping bag and this one's really great. Um, we'll, we'll talk more about this later, but this is what I use uh, most often. Then there's also the heavier piping bag. This is really good for if you are working with thicker icing and you're going to use a star tip or um, something that requires a heavier icing. So. For this, I also have my coupler set ready to go. And then I've got, of course, a couple different options for piping tips. And generally for tips, I'm just using star tips. I don't use a lot of other types of tips for my cookie decorating. I've got a really nice sharp pair of scissors. Those are important. There's my cute little scribe tool. This is really great for moving icing around on your cookie or for popping bubbles that might appear in your icing. And then I've got my boo-boo stick. This one is fantastic for if the icing starts coming off the side of your cookie and you need to scrape a little bit off. There's this little shovel side to it and then there's also this one is the same as my scribe so it's great for poking little holes and that kind of thing. I've got a couple of bag clips here. If I overfill my bags, these are a really great option. If I can't tie it off, I'll use these tips or the clips and uh, those are great to have handy. Of course, your gel color. This is essential. I've got lots of different colors. So I prefer the, um, the gel color. And then of course, I've got a small variety of paint brushes. These are great for all kinds of things with cookie decorating some food coloring markers. So these are basically food coloring in a marker form. These are great for drawing designs on your cookie before you go over it with the icing. And I also use these a lot for my handwriting and you'll learn more about that as we go. Another really important thing is the dough rolling system that I have. This is the doughies rolling system. These are my measuring guides to make sure that my cookies are consistent. Um, so I roll out to a quarter of an inch and this is the mat that comes along with it. And again, we're going to talk more about this later. I always have lots of paper towel on hand and I always go through tons of that. And I use a really good quality baking sheet and my sanitizer this is also very important i do work from my home kitchen so it's extra important so i make sure that everything is sprayed down and sanitized before i start working my hands are something else that i want to talk about for me this is very important i did go to culinary school and if we were to show up in our chef whites and our nails painted we would be sent home it's kind of like why are you here um, the thing is that nail polish can carry bacteria and we don't want any extra bacteria in our cookies of course and the nail polish can also chip off so we don't want any foreign objects pieces of nail polish that sort of thing in our cookies of course so no nail polish for me um, and the other thing is I have this great big giant rolling pin for me this guy's really helpful because it's very heavy so it kind of um, it just makes the rolling part a little bit easier for me because the weight onto the cookie means I don't have to work as hard rolling it out. The last thing is my cup of tea. I always have a cup of tea. This is Emily May's Essential. Keeps me awake and keeps me warm and feeling good. So I always have my cup of tea. So I think that's pretty much everything. That's what I consider my essentials. Of course, I've got a good mixer off to the side as well. That's important. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. So I hope that helps you with your shopping for your basics and cookie decorating. And I'm excited to get on to the next portion with you where we're going to actually get our hands into making icing and the cookie dough.
Thank you.